So we hear this music one last time. So is this the last we're going to see of Midna? At least in her true form. You make sure you get that last few shadow now! <laughs> and the last light spirit reveals itself. So we've saved all four of them. I guess that's it. Game's over, right? We've done everything we have to. I suppose we still have to deal with the King of Twilight, whoever he is, but... Inevitably, this guy's going to lead us to the last dungeon, we'll get the few shadow, and that'll be it. I thought this game would be a lot longer than that. Oh well. It's a giant sea serpent. My name is Lineiru. Your efforts have at last restored each of the light spirits in Hyrule. O hero chosen by the gods. The dark power that you seek, it waits in a temple set in the bed of Lake Hylia. But before seeking it, you must now bear witness to something, and never forget it. Probably the creepiest cutscene in all of Legend of Zelda history. When all was chaos, the goddesses descended and gave order and life to the world. They granted power equally to all who dwelt in the light, and then returned to the heavens. The lands where the goddesses descended became known to be the Sacred Realm. For ages, the people lived at ease, content in mind and body. But soon, word of the Sacred Realm spread throughout Hyrule, and a great battle ensued. Among those living in the light, interlopers who exceeded at magic appeared. Wielding powerful sorcery, they tried to establish dominion over the sacred realm. It was then that the goddesses ordered us three light spirits to intervene. We seal away the great magic those individuals have mastered. <laughs> you know this magic. It is the dark power you seek, the fused shadow. O oh, hero chosen by the goddesses, beware. Those who do not know the danger of wielding power will before long be ruled by it. Never forget that. The way I like to interpret that is as if Link is dreaming and each time his appearance is thrown into another body, it's him seeing through the eyes of that body. The dark power that you see within Sleeping temp Lake Bed Temple in Lake Hylia. But yeah, they just threw a lot of that at you all at once. It, obviously, it's easier to understand if you've played Ocarina of Time before, but more or less, some weird people got control of the Triforce and they sealed it away. 
they being the guys who used the few shadows to take control of it. The three light spirits stepped in. I don't know where Ordona fits in that, but yeah, the three light spirits sealed that magic away. I don't know what happened to those three dudes. Maybe there will be a game made after them. Who knows? But for the time being, we're stuck in Lake Hylia and we can't warp out of here because we're not a wolf. But one of my fav favorite music tracks on this game, Lake Hylia, restored to its former glory. I just wish we had a way out of here. I mean, we do have a way to go up there. I suppose we could check out that cave, but I'm not really in the mood to check it out yet. And there are some things in a cave... Yeah, there's a cave up there that we can check out, I believe, but we can't get everything in there until later, so I'll hold off on doing that. Calling down if uh, Hawk wouldn't do anything for us, Zora's going to tell us about the Lakebed Temple. Well, we have one guy left to talk to. Hmm? Some of the Zoras are still alive down under there. I thought maybe they all dried up along with the lake. Hey, buddy, have you heard? There's like a temple or something at the bottom of the lake. Yeah, I heard about that. They put on such airs about all their rituals and fancy temple hoo-ha, and they just disappear. And what's with putting that temple so deep that humans can't swim there? I swear, those Zoras. It's not like they're hiding something important down there or anything. Oh, are you a customer? You are one lucky fella, fella. The height of excitement and the thrill of launching through the heavens. The very peak of flying fantastication. Hey, I spelled it correctly this time. It can be yours, fella, for a limited time and without waiting in line, the paltry ten rupees. Yeah, this is the only way out of here. Special repairs is not going to be until much, much later. So let's just see what this guy's offering for ten rupees. Did we even pay him? I'm not sure. Hopefully we did, because we're not going to see him for a while. And you notice those things on the machine up there that look like Uku? That'll have a little significance later in the game as well. I suppose that's supposed to be your hint, too. Not that this isn't. Yep, he's just shooting us out of a cannon. And we conveniently land on the other half of this fella's amusement thing. Whoa, that reminds me of something. Didn't the late Queen Sora's... Queen of Zora's domain ask you to do something. She asked us to find her son. There's one hidden in this Hyrule Castle. Something about granting power if you rescued him. Maybe that'll be a little important because you need to get down to the bottom of the lake. I don't know, just asking. But yeah, he dumps us. I think this is his brother's end of the amusement thingy. And by God, is this guy creepy. Well, hi there. Welcome to Falby's Flight by Fowl. If you're ready for fun, full of dreams, sweet bonuses, cuckoo power, ride, and make higher, you love it! How do you remember that word? Fantastication. 20 rupees, Isle of Riches. So, pay him 20 rupees, grab a cuckoo, and let's get going. I like grabbing the brown one for no reason. I don't believe there's any advantage to picking colors. I just like the brown one because he's different. So let's get him. And this will serve no purpose other than getting us all the way back down to Lake Hylia. Now what we're gunning for is the Isle of Riches that he was talking about. But I like to circle around through these rupees on the side because you're going to be descending down there anyway. And this makes a little bit of the money back even if you miss the thing. Now there are two significantly good prizes that you can shoot for. There's the target, which is... Uh, I think that's 100 rupees. Usually a good idea to go for that if you need money or if you're looking to make a lot of profit, but me? I'm just going straight for this one. Because this one has the one treasure that's actually important. Our 13th piece of heart. You could land on that one and get the 100 rupees, but it's difficult to make your way down to this platform and this treasure chest because that one's rotating around. But if you do make it up to this one, you can just fall down to that one. Up there is 50. I'll be up here again later, I'm sure I'll grab that. Down here is 20, and I believe you get 10 on this one. But since I don't need too many rupees anyway, this just makes back the 30 rupees I spent on these two guys' amusement stuffs. So they've got wraps over here, so we can jump back up to the dude. Take this cannon ride back outside Lake Hylia. And, is it still 10 rupees? Yes it is. 
And thankfully we can actually skip the scene here, which is lovely. So we just get shot all the way back up. And we can exit back out to Hyrule Field and do a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not going to be heading to the temple until I have everything I can possibly get. And we get to hear that theme again. It's been way too long. I wonder when the first time is we're going to see the mailman out here. The post van. Is it going to be one across the bridge? There's nothing we can do out here yet. I just like searching around for Epona's horseshoe grass so we can call her and then ride around wherever we're going. And I hear some enemies. And that's the sign for the amusement park thing. Yeah, here we go. Now we can call Epona. Can we skip this? No, we can't skip it. Yeah, it's short enough. Now the first place we're going to go, I suppose I could have gone there without Epona. Let's get our Gale Boomerang out, I suppose. And it's dusk already? Didn't we just lift the twilight and it's back to twilight again? Oh well. Let's get rid of you, because you're going to be annoying. And I think it's over here. Is it? I do hear it. It'll be easier to see when dusk settles. Hey, what are you doing hitting me? Let's see if it's outside. Okay, buddy. You gonna come over here? Come over here so I can hit you. Where are you? I suppose I'll get off Epona for this one. Hello, Buggy! You've been flying around the whole time. No wonder why I haven't been able to find you. And I can't even lock onto you with the right button. There you are. Slice you up. Good. Get back here. Get back here. There you go. The male mantis. Boy, was he difficult to find. But I found the son of a gun. Okay, Epona, let's get going. There's not too much we'll be able to do on the opposite side of the bridge here, but yeah, this is the bridge that they set on fire. Hey! I haven't seen you in a while. What kind of letters you got for me this time, buddy? Well, let's see. I imagine one will be from that Telma lady. Plot device... I wonder who the other one's from, though. Actually, we don't know about him, do we? Barnes. New bombs! And Lene Tourism. We already spent our money there, guy. Oh, wait, this is from another person. Isa's Rapid Ride and Henna's Fishing Hole. Sounds like something we'll be checking out later. Did I say Telma was a dude? Well, it's a good thing nobody's played this game before, otherwise I might be corrected on that. For shame. Actually, when we get down here... You know what? You stay here, Apollo. Stell hounds! Just smack them with your sword. Nothing to be afraid of. Now, what are you? Oh, this is something that I'd like to actually get, so let's get our open bottle here and scoop it up. Because this isn't a normal chew. This is a red chew, and now we have essentially a red potion. Although, it's sort of like a red potion. It's red chew jelly. We don't have to have somebody cook it up for us, either. But you'll also find over here some purple chews. Unless that's a blue chew. Hang on, wait a sec. Is that a blue chew? Will it still be there if I drink this? I really hope so. It looked blue. I hope it's not purple. Holy crap, it is blue chew jelly! Wow! I didn't know there was a blue chew over here. Holy crap. So now we have a blue potion, sort of. Although, we don't think we have magic. There should be a bug around here somewhere, too. Which is much easier to find at nighttime. Supposedly, apparently. 
I don't hear it though. Buggy. Oh, the mantises are always so difficult to find. And by always, I mean right now, and only right now. They were never difficult for me to find before. There it is. Hey, dude. I got your brother already. Yay, Blue Rupee is so much more important than the Gale Boomerang. Where'd it go? Great. You see what happens when I get distracted? Where'd it go? Stupid mantises. How do they fly, anyway? Where did you go? Damn it, not again. Guess what, guys? It took me long enough to find this stupid thing that I actually ran out, reset the area. Well, that's what I get for being too mystified by a blue rupee to actually get the stupid female mantis. Oh, I feel like an idiot. Now, we could go further down in the direction that I'm facing here, but it's actually blocked off by a gate that we can't get through. So the fastest thing for us to do would probably be to go back the way we came and see if we can get back to Castle Town. Although, what other areas do I want to explore before we go there? Because we still have quite a few bugs we can get at this point in the Lanayru province. Actually, you know what? I think I'll open up a new area for us to go through. Or at least a new path. Which will be available as soon as we reach this crossroads. You ready, opponent? Because I'm not going to hold back with this one. Oh. There we go. Blew open all of those rocks. And this is pretty much just a shortcut through... Why is it so dark over here? We lifted the twilight, didn't we? Yeah, this is a shortcut back to North Hyrule Field, where we came out from Zora's River. I wonder if I should take the quick way up there. We will have to get back up there eventually. Is there any reason for us to do it now, though? I don't know about that. Well, I mean, we are here. I do have some bugs to get there. Do we have to go back up there eventually? I don't think so. You know what? Screw it. This is probably as good a time as any to do it. Although I think there's a bug down here I'd like to get. So before we go too far... Let's climb along the cliff face here. Maybe it's a little bit higher up, I'm not sure. I think it is a little bit higher up. Yeah, I should have kept going. Okay, back around we go, opponent. But yeah, this is the place we ran through in Twilight. I love the music here so much. I really do. I mean, one of my favorite parts of this game is just riding around, listening to the music. Just going nice and slow so we can hear the bug. Hello, Tektite. You knocked me off, Tektite. Good thing I didn't run into the wall. Hmm. There's a cave over there, but we can't... Can we do anything in there? I don't think so. I think we need something else to finish off what's in there. And that's quite a fun puzzle. I could have sworn I saw a bug up there. Yep. Oh, there it is. It's just flying around. Let's see if we can bring it down. And get it over here. The stag beetle, female stag beetle. The other one is back in Zora's domain, believe it or not. I always get these confused because you think both of them would be in the same location, but they're not. I suppose this is supposed to count towards Zora's domain, but it never really made sense to me that it would. And there's only so far along here we can go with Epona, so I think I'll just use the. Thanks, Tektite. Well, no sense wasting bomb arrows. I only have nine arrows left. So let's just drop this by the rocks here. And stop swiping at my horse. Every time. I forgot the rubble was still there. I don't know if you can remove that or not. All I know is that you can get through with it still being there, so I never bothered to try.